who remembers that famous day and year. I'm Ted Gunderson, former head of the FBI in Southern California. I furnished considerable information to B.J. Wagner. If you want the full story, you want to know what's going on, watch B.J. Wagner. Welcome to On Second Thought. I am Brianna Moore, co-hosting today. Thank you for joining us where William J. Wagner gives you reason to have second thoughts. And now for the host and producer, the good guy in the white hat, William J. Wagner. Thank you. Thank you, Brianna. I'm William Wagner. You, own, you run a business. I've owned at, several. At one time, you owned two or three houses. Mm -hmm. You don't sound like a low-life drug addict. You're taking your daughter to places most people can never afford to take them. And yet, Amy, what's her name? Sensenba. Amy Sensenba, the San Luis Obispo County Child Protective Services, mm -hmm. feels your child is being harmed by you. Mm -hmm. Does that strike you as weird? Absolutely. They overreacted. But they, they took her that day on the 9th, right? Because mm -hmm. your daughter her. called 9-11. Well, that's because... There was, my daughter was out of control for a couple of months prior to that, and we had utilized our police service because that's what they had recommended if she was out past curfew. They encouraged me to call them. I, didn't, I was concerned about her, and um, yeah, they apparently are using that against me now. And your biggest fear is they're going to send your daughter where? To my ex-husband's house. To Sean's house. Mm -hmm. And he's still got issues with you, you know, because you called him to try to talk to him, and what happened? He's disconnected his phone line. He's he never been involved. Just because you called him and mm -hmm. left a message, mm -hmm. he changed his number. Yes. Very spiteful man. You say he's spiteful, but I haven't, I haven't heard a word from him. All, I, all I've got is your side. Do you suppose that maybe he's got issues that never got resolved with you? I think he just has issues in general. I'm really not sure. You know, I, I really tried to help the father. I've relocated him out from Iowa. I put him in one of my homes. I've moved him onto my property. I had him work for my business. I, I mean, I've done everything to help the father lower his child support willingly. Um, just He's just... Uh, and he went back to Iowa. He went back to Iowa. He's left our daughter five times now. Did he leave the daughter or did he leave you? Because did he have issues oh, with Oh, he you? left me when my daughter was, what, six months old. Six months? Yes, he I've been raising my daughter all these years. No, it was me. He didn't want to work. So he I wanted want a better life for me and my daughter. What was he doing when you met him? I mean, you met him and you married him. He said, I'm a poor college student, and I don't think he got a job. <laughs> One thing led to another. You had a child. Then you got married. Mm -hmm. You tried to make it work. Because now you had a child. Right. Would it have been wiser maybe not to get not to get pregnant? Yes, absolutely. Hindsight is always so 2020, isn't it? I'm happy I have my daughter though. But I was you love thrilled. You're right. thrilled you love your daughter. Do you It was and, telling him I was worried about. <laughs> How much is his back child support that he hasn't paid? Oh my. It was over eighteen thousand, I'm not sure. You had it lowered at one point. I lowered it and I also had You went it. to the DA and asked the DA to lower his child support. I did. And did the judge do that? Yes. Yes. He and buttered he still, me up. And he still hasn't paid it. No. No. Is he, he paying never anything? Will. No. Um I think they garnish his paycheck. I'm I'm not sure, but So I, they garnish you. He's paying something. Two well, very small. Two hundred or something. Yeah, it's in the two it's very low. He, he had it lowered, I think, less than that to 100 and something at one time. But do you need the money? Because you got properties and business. Do you even really need the money? Right now? Oh, well, yeah. now right now do. I do. <laughs> Here's what I'm getting at, Kathleen. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get to this gingerly. If the two of you could have buried the hatchet somehow, because obviously when he changed the phone number in his mind, he knows you need to talk to him. He doesn't need to talk to you. Mm-hmm. The shoe is now flipped. It's on the other foot. You've gone from custodial parent to non-custodial parent over a silly incident over your daughter's temper tantrum and she's going through her hormonal changes and she, you're trying to cut her off from the boy she likes. And the father wasn't involved, didn't have the, his phone number. And she, wasn't, was she wasn't even talking to her dad about the boyfriend, was she? No, and the father, he did not call the house. I didn't have his number, and even if I did, he'd never call me back. What do you suppose could have 
heal the, the relationships you guys separated as friends? What if you just said, I don't want the child support. I got a business. I got homes. You left the home. You went back to, I don't want the child support. Go and be happy. Do you think that would have erased all his issues? Interesting question. I don't know. I don't it's know. really important now, though, isn't it? Because if you guys had no issues... The agreement was, when I lowered his child support, um, that he would not seek custody, and he broke his promise. One week after I found out that I had early-stage emphysema, he came up and hugged me and said, oh, I'm so sorry, because his grandmother had just died. So he, was, he, he had knowledge of the condition and then went right out and filed for custody. Wow. Cold-hearted. Very cold-hearted. Was it cold-hearted or was he concerned that you might die or be oh. incapable of caring for and you wanted to get custody? Do if, I look like I'm dying now? No, you don't. You look pretty <laughs> healthy. Um, I'm just saying, had you been able to bury the hatchet and just, I mean, getting mm -hmm. divorced is not, is not a user-friendly operation. And I imagine he had an attorney, right? Mm -hmm. and you had an attorney. Yes. The attorneys both want to ka-ching, 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 right? Mm -hmm. So they have an incentive to exasperate both of you against each other. Mm -hmm. I imagine you guys weren't talking a whole lot at that point. No, he was, he was getting false statements from a lot of people that I had never even heard of. But they did do home studies on his house and mine. In fact, two times in both custody battles, and the court had decided that my daughter would be better off with me. He was too unstable. And in fact, during the custody battle, he decided to go um, steal TV dinners from the grocery store to feed our daughter because he had kidnapped my daughter at that point. Wow. Yeah.